Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with sunshine and a nice break from all the storms. And News Channel's John Palmentary is live. And John, it's been a busy day for cleanup crews. Nice to see some sun on you. There certainly is a lot of work to do and the sun is out making it a little bit easier than when we're in those drenching storms like we were yesterday. And you know, we're right here on Loma Alta, which has some stress from all the rain that this hillside has soaked up. And there's some evidence here of it starting to slump down. And depending on where you were, you likely did see crews, as you say, straightening up from yesterday's long day of wet weather and the series of storms that we have seen in the area lately. This afternoon, it's been cloudy and cool, so um, this is a nice change. Whether you live here or are visiting on a cruise ship like these people walking on Cabrillo Boulevard in Santa Barbara, a break from the rain was refreshing, although one person from New York left his weather compassion back east. You're in the middle of a drought and you complain about water falling from the sky. <laughs> well, okay, that's your... Your problem, not ours. <laughs> this stop came right after the Bay Area, and the ship goes to San Diego and Ensenada, where sunshine replaces the rain they sailed with on Tuesday. We missed it yesterday, but it was a little rocky out at sea. Yeah. A little rocky out at sea, but not too bad. We did not want the rain. We had the rain on the way up to San Francisco, and on the way down, there was rain. Actually, when we left San Francisco is when it started raining. While we were there, overcast, and then it got cold. But this has been nice. On Santa Barbara's West Beach, the soaked sand, some of it with ocean debris from the recent day-long rain event, was getting a grooming. It's a priority location for the Waterfront Department to restore after heavy weather impacts, such as the series of storms we've had. Like many areas of the Central Coast, this section of Santa Barbara's West Beach got drenched, and it's going to take several sunny days and fewer storms before recreation can return here again. The beach here is getting more use since, as we showed you earlier this week, East Beach has lost some of its size and volleyball courts to coastal erosion and aggressive storm runoff from Sycamore Creek. On Santa Barbara's lower west side, a portion of the hill between Cornell Street and Loma Alta could not hold more water and slid down. It covered a well-used walking path and oozed its way towards homes and cars. No damage was reported. Also on the cleanup list is this pop-out with mud and rocks in the 1100 block of Miramonte near Carrillo. It also came down here in the last storm. Barricades were up to divert traffic due to safety concerns. After all of this, it's clear the sunny skies were welcomed. I was definitely looking forward to the sun. This has been awesome. Great day. So a lot of people very pleased with the sunshine and depending on who you're talking to and I have certainly heard this certain phrase quite a bit lately. Yes, we needed the rain after so many years of the drought, but what we've had so far, that's enough. Reporting live on Loma Alta where the hills are still showing some signs of all the storms. I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. And John, a quick question aside from that slide area that you're standing next to, you've really assessed most of the canyons and the creeks from Carpinteria up to Goleta. Are you hearing about any problem spots that first responders, emergency crews are really watching right now? What we're seeing is surprisingly San Marcos Pass holding together well, except for some of the boulders that have come down. Yesterday, Highway 33 in Ventura County caught some people off guard with the slide there. But I would say other than, I I believe Ortega Hill Road or Ortega Ridge has a slide there. We didn't get to that today, but I've got pictures of it. Uh, the rest of the region is holding together pretty well, but I would say it's reached capacity. This sponge has no more room for any more water, and we should be on alert whether it's wet or even when it's dry. That's right. Okay. Bye. Thank you for that, John. Thank you, John. Director Relief is shipping emergency supplies to